intense breathing exercise, we will warm up our core muscles. In the technique drill, we will drive beginner and intermediate belly dance movements with our abs. Following the drill, we'll have a technical breakdown of movements that are more advanced. To wrap things up, we'll practice short combinations that you can add to your own dancing. To avoid discomfort, you should not eat within 90 minutes of doing this program. As with any dance class, a thorough warm-up and cool-down are recommended. Here's a breathing exercise that will help you gain strength and control of your diaphragm. We're going to be making a shushing sound at the same time that we sharply exhale. You'll feel it right here. You exhale sharply and then naturally you're going to inhale so you don't have to worry about a controlled inhalation. This is a yoga exercise called Nali that's also useful for building strength in your diaphragm and space in your abdomen. Start in a sumo squat. Exhale all the air out of your lungs. <sighs> Exhale as much as you can and then close your throat and pull your abdomen up. <clears throat> Inhale and release your abdomen. A lot of people have a lot of trouble getting this movement at first. This won't make or break your belly dance career, but it will help you to get more strength and more movement in your abdomen. So it's worth working on. If you're having trouble getting your abdomen to suck in like that, one thing I suggest is making sure your back is straight so that you're not here. And the other thing is to not be afraid of making a gross noise making a rattle in your throat. So close your throat off and go It's like you're trying to inhale but you're not allowing yourself to. You can make that noise probably without much trouble. It's the same thing. So I can't really talk much when I do it but I'll try to give you cues as I'm going. Exhale. As much as you can, get the last little bit of air out of your lungs that's lifting your diaphragm. And then, little rattle, but no inhale. <sighs> inhale. Now I'm gonna show you the next progression of this movement, which, again, isn't necessary, but if you're looking for a good party trick, I suggest you work on this. It has benefits too, so no, uh, no digs on the yoga world. Exhale. <sighs> and release. What I did there was contract my abdomen and bring the center muscles forward. One more time. Exhale, just normal. And relax. We're going to practice lifting and releasing the diaphragm in order to do flutters. We're standing in a sumo wrestler's stance, which allows the abdomen to be very relaxed. I'm using the same technique as in Nolly of lifting my diaphragm up into my rib cage. I'm holding my breath. I pull the diaphragm up and in as in Nolly, and as I push it down, my stomach goes out. Eventually, you'll be able to do this quickly while standing up and voila, you have a flutter. First start by exhaling 
so that your lungs are empty. You can do as many or as few repetitions of this movement as you would like. You're going to be lifting the diaphragm up and into your abdomen and then forcefully pushing your stomach out as the diaphragm drops. Make sure you take a break and always start with an exhale. Try standing and try leaning. When you stand, also try doing it more rapidly. Practice this exercise until you feel like you have some control over your diaphragm. Try to keep the movement soft. Now let's practice doing the movement more rapidly so it's more like a real flutter. Now practice standing up straight, keeping the movement going, and come back into a leaning position. You'll want to try to keep as much softness as you can in the standing position. Let's get our posture established and connect to our kinesthetic awareness. Stand comfortably, feet less than hip width apart, knees soft, not squatting, and not locked. Become aware of the weight on your feet. Share it evenly between the toes and heels. Gain awareness of your ankles. Slide your hips so that the hip joints are directly on top of the ankles. Hips over heels. Lengthen the lower back, but do not pull the tailbone under. Lengthen and lightly engage the abdominal muscles, especially gaining awareness in the lower abdomen. Let the rib cage float up and slightly forward. Keep the shoulder girdle completely relaxed. Ensure that your ears are directly in line with your shoulders. Hips over heels, chest over toes. Now, close your eyes and focus inward. In your pelvis, imagine swirling white light. Let it reach through your hip joints, through your thighs, through your calves, and down through the arches of the feet. Imagine that your feet reach all the way into the center of the earth. Visualize your legs and feet growing down past the floorboards, past the basement, past all the layers of the earth until they're rooted into the very center of the planet. Now, see the light that came from your pelvis reaching all the way into the center of the earth. Imagine that a powerful fountain is shooting up from the center of the earth into your feet, your lower legs, your knees, your thighs, your buttocks, and your pelvis. Imagine this powerful stream shooting up through your spine, stretching your spine, lifting your vertebrae up from one another, opening your chest, and bursting out of the crown of your head until the light touches the ceiling. Energy is streaming from out of the center of the earth, through the crown of your head, and into the sky. Now, imagine large buckets of warm honey poised on top of each shoulder. Let the honey pour heavily down the shoulders and the sides of the body. Feel the opposition of the streaming force running from the center of the earth through the center of your body and how it contrasts with the heavy, warm honey flowing down the shoulders and sides of the body. Relax, 
and open your eyes. Now, if that felt like it might be a little too schmaltzy and good for you, I recommend you go smoke a cigarette. Your arms and hands will move more fluidly if you anchor your shoulders in your back rather than letting the shoulders fly up when you move your arms. Now I've released my shoulders and you'll see how all the parts of my arms have become more disjointed and less elegant in their movement. Stand up straight and focus on the energy under the shoulder blades letting the lats engage and thinking of widening the shoulders. Be careful that your shoulders stay on top of the hips, not forward or behind. Practice doing these simple arm patterns while focusing on anchoring the shoulder blades down into the back. It's also helpful to imagine the right shoulder blade connected to the left hip and vice versa. To do belly rolls, we're going to practice isolating the top and bottom half of our abdomen. First warm up the belly again by expanding and contracting with an exhalation. Expand, exhale and contract as much as you can, warming up the abs, pushing the stomach out with an inhale, pulling in with an exhale and out. Let's separate the top and bottom half of the abdomen. Place the hands on the ribs and on the stomach. We're going to be just pulling the top in and the bottom stays out. Top in and out. And now the bottom is tight with the top in and out. Now the bottom goes out while the top stays tight. Let's roll through. The top goes tight, bottom tight, top relax, bottom relax. Top in, bottom in, top out, bottom out. Pull the belly muscles all the way into your core. Think about bringing your abs to your spine. Pull in the top, pull in the bottom, and release and roll up. Pull in the bottom, pull in the top. Push out the bottom, push out the top. Pull the muscles in as tight as you can and relax them as much as you can also. When you're doing belly rolls, you could imagine a snake swallowing a ping pong ball when you're going from top to bottom, or a snake regurgitating a ping pong ball when you're going from bottom to top. The key is to really bring the muscles in. Now let's do our belly rolls, starting slowly and then gradually working it up faster. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top. Roll down, roll down, roll down, roll down. Rolling up. Up, up, up. Roll down. Bottom to top. Roll down. Bottom to top. Roll down. 
Roll down. Bottom to top. In, in, out, out. 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 And from the bottom. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Get ready to go from the top. In, in, out, out. And out. Out. Out and bottom. Push. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. And top. Release. In. Release. In. Release. In. Release. And bottom. In. And push. In. And push. Go all the way from the bottom, push, in, push. Roll down, in and out, in and out, in and out, and bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top, in, push, in and out, in, and out, in, and out, in, and out, and bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top. That's it for belly rolls. Now let's do a half circle going into a belly roll. Starting on the side, pull back, and go from top to bottom. Half circle, belly roll. Half circle, belly roll. Half circle, roll down. Pull back, roll down. Pull back, roll down. Focus on the side. You'll roll through the whole stomach, but you wanna focus on the side that's in. Side and roll. Side and roll. Side, 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 roll. Side. Roll, side, roll. That's it for the side roll. Now let's do lifts coming up from diagonal. Up and in. In. In, in, switch sides. In, 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 release, in, release, in, release, and switch. And last one. That's it for side lifts. Now let's work on rolly twist. The rolly twist is a sweeping twist of the hip that's used in the jewel and makes a nice transition. Be sure to really pull the abdomen in when pulling the hip back. When you let go of the muscles, the hip will come forward with a slight arc. Out, pull in. 
release, pull, release, twist, release, release, twist, 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 forward, pull, forward, pull, and get ready to switch. Forward, twist it back, forward, twist back, forward, twist back, forward, and switch. Front, twist, release, contract, release, contract, release, switch, release, contract, release, contract, release, contract. Now switch, release, contract, release, contract, release, contract, release, contract. One, two, three, last one. That's it for the rolling twist. Now let's do tummy accents. And initiate your tummy accent the same way that you initiated the nolly or the flutter. Then instead of rapidly moving your abdomen, you're just going to push the belly out. You probably won't be able to do this and inhale and exhale. So take frequent breaks so you can catch your breath. That's it for tummy accents. To do our mayas, first we're going to start by making the best single circles on one hip at a time. We'll start going over and under. Here we go. Switch sides. Now let's go under and over. Switch sides. Now let's do a full Maya. Over and out, pull up and in when your hip is lifting. Make this as full as you can. Out and down, out and down, out, down, up, in, 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 out, down, up, in. That's it for Maya's. Now let's reverse it. That's it for reverse mayas. Now let's combine them. Go over and out, over and out, and now step out. Now in and up, in and up, and step on it. Over and out, over and out, and step on it. In and up, in and up, and step on it. Now going the other way, start on the opposite side, 
over and out, over and out, and travel, in and up, in and up, and travel, over and out, over and out, and travel, in and up, in and up, travel with it, over and out, over and out, and travel with it, in, in, travel, over, over, travel, in, in, travel, over, over, travel, and that's the end of that combination. Now let's do mayas and reverse mayas with a level change. Going down, and up. Three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, 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 down. Let's switch feet. The other foot comes forward. Down, 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 up, up, up. Down, 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 up, 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 and relax. Now we're going to do the wiggle, Lebanese wiggle. It's the same as a Maya, it's just faster. We're going to go in, 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 in. Seven, eight. And go. And go. Left side. And left. And right with a regular Maya. Here we go. And left. And right. And left. Now reverse your Maya. And on the left. And on the right. And that's it for the Lebanese wiggle. The movements I'm about to teach you aren't traditional belly work movements, so no flutters or rolls here. What these moves have in common and why I've included them is that they can and should be performed with extra emphasis and feeling in the abdomen. Remember your technique from the breathing exercises. Use your muscles and deepen the movement. We're going to do omis, one to one side, another to the opposite side. Dropping, lifting, tucking. Dropping, lifting, tucking. Drop, hips forward, hip up, and tuck. Drop the left, release, lift the left, tuck. Drop, release, lift, drop, release, lift, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the right, left, right hip down, left, right, left, right, left, 
right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now two, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Four more. One, two, three, four. Now let's make a U with our hips. Stand on the right foot. We're going to be moving the left hip. It's going to come in like our slide lift, coming forward, through, and back. Front, back. Front, back. Front, back. Front, back. Five, four, three, two, one. To change sides, cross turn, other hip, front, center, back, front, center, back, front, center, back. Front, center, back. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Cross turn. Four on this side. Four, three, two, last one, turn, four, three, two, one, four, three, Two, one, turn, corkscrew, two half circles, one half, second half, one half, second half. When you start the corkscrew on the right foot, you go clockwise with both circles. When you start the corkscrew on the left foot, you go counterclockwise on both circles. Straight through, right foot, left foot, 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 right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot, right foot, stop. Let's start on the left. Five, six, seven, eight. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. That's it. Now we're going to do our Jelena circle. To do the Jelena walking hip circle, Place your left foot in front of your right foot, and let's do this flat-footed first. We're going to be moving the hips from the left to the right, so they're going in a clockwise direction. So slide the hip left, front, right, back. Left, front, right, back. That should be fairly simple. Now come up to releve. When you push your hip to the left, put a little bit more emphasis on the left side so it looks like an accent. Six, seven, 
eight. Push and back, push, back, push, back, push, back. Travel right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and switch. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and stop. When you do this movement, you're going to be traveling opposite the direction of the hip that's being emphasized. So my left hip is going to be emphasized. I'm going to travel to my right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, left, right, left, right, and stop. Let's do the sitting circle now. Consciously engage the muscles in your legs, allowing them to support the movement, thus avoiding undue stress on the knees. We start our sitting circle like a normal circle. Let's say we're going from right to left. Push right, left, and now instead of just sweeping back, like that, we're going to bend the knees and do a little bit of a squat. So if you just practice bringing your hips down, center, out, that's what the back of the circle looks like. And now let's combine it with the front of the circle and sit, front, sit, front, sit. And on the right, going left, front, sit, front, sit, front, sit. When you come out of that, you can do a lot of different things. For example, front, sit, reverse Maya, front, sit, undulation, front, sit, come up with a circle. But today we're going to do front, sit, come up with an undulation. Here we go. Going from left to right. Seven, eight. Front, sit, hold, roll, and roll. Front, sit, hold, roll, and roll. Front, sit, hold, undulation. Front, Sit, hold, let's go for three. One, two, three. Front, sit, hold. One, two, three. Front, sit, hold. One, two, three. Front, sit, hold. One slow one. Front, sit, hold. Slow, back to three. One, two, three. three. Let's go into a figure eight with an undulation. Sweep the hip back, and then roll down. Sweep back, roll down. The emphasis of this movement is the tuck after your figure eight. Sweep up, now engage here. Notice my stomach was relaxed, and now I roll down. Figure eight, roll down, and roll. Up and roll, up, roll, up, roll, up, roll, up, roll. 
up, roll, 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 six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do a walking figure eight with an undulation on top of it. This has some fairly involved footwork. We're going to start by stepping back. So the first beat is on stepping back. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three. Be sure that step number two is going diagonally into the corner. If you count this one, two, three, one, two, three, then you'll take those three steps. If you're counting it with a four, you're going to have a bit of an arabesque in it. For now, let's look back at our feet. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Notice that I've started to lean. What I'm doing is pushing my hip out on two. So whichever direction I'm going on to, I push my hip to that side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now start to pull your hip back like a figure eight. It's a pretty sloppy figure eight. It shouldn't look sloppy, but it's just not very refined. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna pull back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's just a simple pullback. One, two, three. 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 We're going to add an undulation to this on one. We pull in on one. In, in. In, 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 and one more after this. Now we're going to do two undulations. The stomach is going to go in, out, in, out. So on one I go in, two out, three in, on the and, it's out again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Undulation. In, out, in, out. In, out, in, out. In, out, in, out. Walk front again. That's it for those walking figure eight undulations. Just like its name suggests, the jewel is a highly valued movement in belly dancing. It's a complicated movement, so I'm going to break it down really thoroughly for you. These are the individual movements that the jewel is made up of. A drop, like in a Hagala shimmy. A figure eight, but just on one side. And a rolly twist going front and back. Let's first talk about the Hagala shimmy. It's really important when you do this movement that you're keeping a very long posture, which of course you're doing all the time anyway, right? But especially here because otherwise you're going to hurt your back. So we drop this hip down and forward, and then let's just catch up with the left foot. 
and drop the hip down and forward and catch up. This is not what we wanna do. My hip just went out. This also is not what we wanna do. My hip just went straight down. So make sure that you get the critical part of this movement, which is lifting your hips up and shortening in the lower back on one side. So again, the hip comes slightly up and we go almost in an arc shape like that. We go forward, putting the hip down so it's over the line of the toes and then catch up and put the hip down and catch up. Following that, we do half of a figure eight. So we go first down. My weight is completely on my right side now. I'm only balancing a little bit on my left and I'm going to pull my hip back in a figure eight. Push it out, pull it back. Again, drop down in the Hagala movement push out, pull back. The whole time that you do the figure eight part of the movement, your weight is on your right foot. Of course, that's when you're starting on your right. Let's start it on our left and the weight will stay on the left foot. So starting the Hagala movement, my weight just went onto my left foot and doing the figure eight movement, my weight stayed completely on my left foot. Now we're going to add the next section of this movement. So we go down, and a figure eight. When I'm done with half of the figure eight, notice that my left hip is already forward. Then what I'm going to do is do the rolling twist, pulling it back and front. Then I'm gonna start on my other side, going down, figure eight, it's already front, back, front. The rolling twist you've already done but we did a large leg movement when we did it. So I want you to practice it a few times without a leg movement, just going front and back, front and back. So this is where you're starting automatically after the half figure eight. You didn't have to do anything to get there, it's automatic. Then you pull in abdominally, and then you just release and relax. So here we go again, dropping down in a Hagala, pushing out, my hip is already forward, rolly twist, wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make sure that you don't go one, two, three, four, because then you won't be able to start on the correct number. Now we're done with the jewel. We're going to do a circle variation. Start with a normal circle. Land with your arms in this position. Bring your legs together and come up with a reverse Maya. Circle and up. Again, circle. Up, circle, and up. Other side, circle, 
up. Play with holding that pose for longer. Circle and up and circle, pull, up and again, circle, hold, hold and up. This combination uses part of the jewel, just the rolling twist, but it uses it on an arabesque. The rest of the movements we've gone over, except for the backwards arabesque. So there's two arabesque variations that we should probably talk about first. We're gonna start with two steps. One, two. On the third one, we have a rolling twist. That's an arabesque. We then go into our Jelena circle from here. One, two. Now transition into a corkscrew. Right, left, right, left. Now you're going to have a springing backwards arabesque. Turn, hip circle forward, and you can use a variety of ways to get up from that circle. Step right, left, pivot on your right foot and do a rolling twist. Left foot, right foot in a circle, left foot, right foot, now corkscrew left foot, right foot, and spring up off the left leg, kicking the right foot back, right foot behind the left foot, open left, and circle from left to right, and then up again. Putting it together, six, seven, eight, walk, walk, arabesque, circle, circle, corkscrew, kick, turn, Circle, bring it up, start again, walk, walk, circle, circle, corkscrew. Five, six, seven, eight, walk, walk, arabesque, circle, circle, corkscrew, kick, Circle. Five, six, seven, We're going to start this combination with the U, front, back. Go through that movement again to start a corkscrew. Right foot, left foot, right foot. Bring the left foot back for the undulation on the figure eight. You're going to step, after you've completed one, two, three, one, two, three, you're gonna step and into a low turn, bring the hips back, and into an undulating eight. And again, front, back, corkscrew, eight, and eight, and low turn, sweep, in, in.
This movement is going to use a half maya. We're going to come up, over, and out, but we're also doing a passe, so bring your foot up the leg, hip out, your leg goes out, and then your body follows. We're also going to be doing a chest eight. The chest goes up and over in an eight. It looks like an arm movement. That's just because the arms follow. Your chest is actually the motivator of this movement. And when we do it, we go out, 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 out. So it goes slow and then quicker. Keep the beat with your hips. In the passe, be sure that your foot runs up from the ankle to the knee. Pivot on your left foot and then reach out again with the hip followed by the chest. Do a circle starting with your right hip. Bringing the left hip in, the right hip, and adding an undulation to that figure eight that you're creating. Follow that with two jewels, being careful to engage your abdominal muscles on the rolling twist. Hip circle starts from left and goes right. And you'll be doing omis starting left and then to the right side, then to the front, and follow it with an abdominal accent of your choice. And here we go. Pivot, circle, right, left, right, left, in, in, jewel, jewel, circle, Omi, Omi, Omi. It ends with an accent. Five, six, seven, eight.
This combination is very energetic. We're going to be using the first move that was inspired by an Argentinian dancer named Ambar. And our last move is a hip circle that was inspired by Mona El Said. The first movement is the same half Maya movement where we lift the hips up. We start with our arms down, lift the hips up, push your hips forward, and then turn like a low turn. Bring the hips back. Go through a jumping front circle. So you're going to raise off of your right heel, push the hips forward, go onto the left heel, complete your circle, then go forward, back, fall, and you bring the hip on a flat single circle on the left. Let's try this. Five, six, seven, eight, up, out, turn, circle, jump, fall, finish. And again, up, push, turn, circle, jump, finish. 